you need to move forward, you gotta move that hand forward. Whenever you need to get your body back, you need that hand back. You add the extra weight of that cast on there, and it, it can throw you off. It, it seems like he's made pretty good adjustments and gotten used to it. Best finish was in 2013 at the PBR when he finished the top five, and he's not only down, he may be out. That is not the way you want to pump your hand. Well, that big blow there, Justin, was uh, kind of just jerked him down there. Well, that's exactly what happened. Diesel had, man, what a trip he just had. I hate to see anybody hit heads like that with a bull, but they're, they're tending to him right now, checking him out. Our sports medicine team has the final say in that, including the talents of a man who dedicated his life to our industry for 25 plus years. Dr. Tandy Freeman is here, and alongside a team, an entire team, our fellows who some donating their time and expertise here. Okay, so he finally gets to his feet and a Appears to be able to to stand and maybe walk out. Here's a shot, Ty. Yeah, this, watch this bull, man. When he turns back right here, he sucks back and pushes back. You can see it just whips him forward. Feet go back behind him. Oh, he was you'll, you'll even have a better look at it right here. This bull, when he turns back, he means it's a lot of strength. Boom. That's when it's a great time to have a helmet on. You know, he usually, he's been wearing a, a, a face mask. I even made a little bit of fun of it. You know, I tell him it looks like a 1950 catcher's mask. And, and I don't know for sure why he took it off, but, you know, he, even that would have been better to have on than nothing. Well, the good news is the bullfighters were there. Justin McBride was talking about how mean that bull is. He's glad he didn't go take a second take at him. As we go back to Silvano Alves on Raven Flyer. Let's see if he, uh, Justin McBride, you think there's any chance he'll, he, he learned from his last two mistakes and speed up the process? Well, I would hope so. So I know, and, and there's nothing really, as a, a learning standpoint that this guy needs to learn. He's just taking too long in the shoot. He's got to get tough with this bull in here. This bull's not bad. He's not trying to tear apart the shoot or anything. He'll just lean one way or the other. Savano's just got to take charge in here. Scoot up there, move him around and nod his head. And we'll see if he decides to do that. So we're looking for our first qualified ride. We're waiting to see if Jason Malone can slay the dragon here and take down the top dogs of the PBR and get his hands on some of that million. That's perfect. There it is. Next left goes right. Savano appears to have. Oh, eight seconds, Ty came at a great time. Yeah, I'd love, I'd love to see the replay of that. That's very close. You can see his hand pop out of that rope. Now, the rule is he can't be on the ground, and he still has to have a hold of his rope. When his hand pops out of the handle, you can still see that he has the tail of it. You can see the clock right there. Look at how, how far this bull's getting his hips out of there. Right there, his hands popped out, seven, eight. You still got it? Nope, now he doesn't. Oh, boy, you talk about close. Was, this is about as close as you can get. Oh, man, and I, I, I appears to be a pretty decent view, Ty. Yeah, it'd be nice to have the clock with it right here. Let's see the... Let's think about this. Here's a real-time look with the clock. Well, there's one man left to the side of this round. All right, guys. So, Mono right now with a thumbs up. Justin, what do you think? <laughs> well, it was close, yeah. I'm just watching the in-house... Uh, big TV screen in here and uh, you know it's really close I'm glad I'm not the replay judge this is the look that we ought to be able to tell from slow motion we see, got the boy, clock. He, yeah this bull's turning back with so much force to the right and it's just throwing Silvano to the left with everything so here the hand pops out of the handle but he still has the tail of the rope yes he, he does he, he does has it right tail there. Oh, man. here yeah, he is. I think you got to. I think it's a tie. Ty, I, 
I think in any tie goes to the rider, right? Yeah, yeah and I, I, he's there. I mean, he's there. You know, I look at the clock. The second I see that he doesn't have the rope anymore, and it says 8.0, so that's about as close as you can get. Okay, might be worth 100,000. It's a score. It's an 88 and a quarter. 88 and a quarter for Silvano. So he celebrates, and that means that young Jason Malone knows what he's got to do. McBride, what do you what do you know about this Jason Malone? I mean, I've only seen him ride a couple of times, and you know, seeing him here, he's in he's in the position to jump in there and get part of that million bucks. And I think he's got the bull that he would have wanted. Absolutely, you couldn't have drawn this up any better if you were Jason Malone coming into this event. This is the bull he wanted out of this round. He's got him. Bull can go either direction. I don't think that matters to Jason Malone. He's a guy that's had a lot of success at the turn pro level. Uh, and he's carrying that over right here, Ty. This is a great matchup. Yeah, this bull's percolator, and he's going to be around to the left. He, he's got good jumps and good kicks. He's, he's really showy. Um, yeah, he, he, you know, he, he's not just a day off give me bull, but I think this is the, I think this is the most rider-friendly one that we're going to see out today. So Jason Malone. He the PBR Curran Pro to qualify here, and he's got to start. He's working it. He's pumping it. Hey, looking good doing it. And oh, so close. I was gathering some style points, Ty Murray. Oh. I think I tore a groin pulling for him up here in this chair. You just... You know, you want to see those young guys getting a chance to ride for a million dollars. And You know, I thought he got around there just right, Justin. I thought he was setting exactly where he wanted to be, and old Percolator just kept bringing it. Yeah, he kept bringing it, and you see he got to step in the head, step in the head. That one, his upper body right there. to get lean back. And that, he was having a good day, Jason Malone, uh, and put out the effort. Wow, that could have been worth uh, $433,000 for him. As we go to J.W. Harris now. This, this bull that he has, Tennessee Honey, this bull's going to go out there, two or three jumps, and turn back to the left generally. And This is a slap-sided, not a very good-looking bull. I mean, look how skinny his neck is. He kind of looks like a, a rangy old cow, really, but he, this bull has a lot of talent, and he's not that easy to ride with. Because when he does turn back to the left, he has a lot of that forward movement. J.W. Harris knows how to counter that. He breaks with the hips and gets out over the bulls about as good as anybody does. And if I had to pick who's going to win this match, I, I, I don't pick against Tennessee Honey very much. Uh, but I'm going to here. I think J.W. Harris knows how to ride this bull. Justin, nope. what, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, I, I, I'm with you there, Ty. I just think these two match up really well. J.W. Harris does have the counter for Tennessee Honey. This bull, as you said, around the left, kicking good, forward movement. J.W. Harris will crawl out over his front end and style him out for eight seconds. Needs to be an 88 and a quarter. Banks left, goes right. J.W. Harris, he got some style points. Oh, goes the other way. Got him hung out the dry, and he comes down early. J.W. Harris, talk about some a game measured in a, a tenth or a second or, or a two or a hundredth as we've seen today. We've seen it all, but Silvano Alves is going to have the highest score in the shootout round. Ty, he's going to win 100,000. Well, 